This is all one community, guys. There are no randoms. There are no top players. You know they ain't no top players because ain't none of y'all getting paid enough to play Marvel vs. Capcom 3. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. First match of the night, and it's going to be a doozy. I hope it's close. I actually don't know which oh. one is which. Red is uh, TJ? Okay, okay. So, yeah, I mean, Marco, general reaction is the green one. Oh, and there we go. I'm telling you, the secret to this match is not about anything but Gamma Charge. How good is your Gamma Charge game? Oh, no, that's that's oh. not. That's, oh, my dude is using Rocket Punch. Oh, TJ making me proud. <laughs> TJ stand for Tong Jr., bro. <laughs> 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 Just oh. like Pops. Oh, yes, sir. Rocket Punch Specialist. After this match, you be like, Tong, you kind of on to something with this Rocket Punch stuff. <laughs> oh, no, no. We got the drop there, though. And General Reaction does have X Factor. Comeback imminent. Nah, comeback not possible. Damn, okay. Look, I've already been a big TJ fan, but now I'm a bigger TJ fan. You know, like. He knew what he was doing. Yeah. Ooh, Larry trades out here, though. But, you know, a lot of people are like, Tong, how do you how do you win the Hulk matchup without drones and the other person has drones? Turns out drones doesn't matter when you're just gamma charging because you just eat drones, too. Look at Sentinel in the back getting oh. bodied. Oh, general reaction, though, getting the first hit, punishing the gamma crush. Definitely more than enough. Yeah, yeah, I got those little extensions on deck. Go, game of charge. Yeah, hard drive. Invincible gets out. Good decision there from TJ. Oh. Do not. Do not. Standing medium doesn't doesn't hold up against Gamma Charge, man. Gamma Charge is the only tool. Now, Hagar here has a chance. I like TJ's Hagar a little bit. Oh, lucky for oh. the lock. And the great read on the Lariat. Gotta love it. Pop the X here, get the kill, move on the Sentinel. And a great gift sub from Fruity Fetus, one of the biggest supporters in TNS history. Baited it. Not enough, though. Okay, good push. I like that. Oh. I like that. We get real violent up here with these axes. That's the heavy violent axe. One clean hit early. Could do it and does connect here. Light Violent Axe to cross up here with the 50-50, <laughs> and you already know Hoodlum Launcher on deck for the reset. TJ showing off here. We got the Hulk, Hulk OCV, we got the Hagar OCV. All right, I know what's next. I know what's next. Oh, yes, sir, Gamma Charge Anti-Air version to start it off. That is the best way to try to get one on Hulk. Oh, Ooh, okay. Command throw reset by right, TJ, man. TJ looking like me from like 2015, you know what I mean? Except with combos and skill and stuff. Oh no! Oh no! Drop. Never mind. Okay. He looking like me. He looking like me. <laughs> he said, "We back." <laughs> Look at him go after Sentinel though. TJ playing like he definitely would have won a major back in the day. You know what I mean? He said, "Catch me in the two out of three Oh, that's era. it. That's it. Got the X Factor, a little bit of the rocket punch here. Yes, and Sentinel is out of here. No, sir. General reaction. Going for a little comeback of his own here. He's got plenty of X Factor. He can super. Oh, no. He's super too late. No, oh, he's no, fine. He's he fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, this might cost him right here. No, it connects on the back end. Oh, TJ not able to punish properly. He thought he had something on it. But bro, Hagar is tricky, even for the Hagar players. Ooh. Oh, same side. <laughs> Same side. He said, I got this reset, too. <laughs> oh, but he also has this drop combo. TJ didn't do that, though. Did he DC? Look at him. He's like, I don't know, bro. Uh. <laughs> what happened? Oh, no. Oh. oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. Eccentric going up against Drew Torius. Oh, coming in with the cross up here from Eccentric. Yeah, Eccentric going with the uh, Ryan LV team, the uh, Eccentric LV team, you know. 
Now he said he's gonna he's gonna play a little more Street Fighter too. But you know when you're going up against Zero May Cry, maybe you oh. bring out the good stuff. You know. I think this is it. It got the gas for sure. Yeah, I mean, you got guests in the building. You know what I mean? Bring out the good stuff. You're fine as China. You're fine as Chinese character. You know, Chun Li. Go lightning connects. No, Jutoria is not believing in it though. Gotta watch out for the jam session. Hard tag getting in cleanly here. And on top of that, you're almost halfway to five here. So Eccentric's in good company right now. Ooh, raw launcher from Jutorius. Great conversion. Going for the snap. Want to bring in Phoenix. At least hit her in X Factor 1 if she pops. It's a good look, though. You know, that's definitely an underrated strat, right? If they get five meters right away a little early, they can force them to pop X Factor 1 is pretty good. Yeah, it's 10 seconds. You know, it's not as crazy. There you go. Possibly going for another one. Yep. I like that call by Drew Torius here. Is it gonna pan out though? Damn, he and, him and Phoenix ain't even been in the same zip code yet. He is running. Oh, almost had it with a rapid slash and guard on top of that. That's rough, because you've already spent two bars trying to get Phoenix in and you can't catch her. And here we go, Eccentric is just getting some hits here cleanly. Oh, come in with the Tri-Dash Light, able to hit, beat out of swords. You know, Morgan and Phoenix are usually characters you cheer against, but when Chun-Li's on the team, bro, it make you want to pop off for him. Oh, my like God, that. that's it. Huge happy birthday here. Popping the X. We don't care about Phoenix. Phoenix will come here and burn it up. Ooh. Poor Sparta brothers, man. Oh, good showing from Eccentric in game one here. Yeah, yeah. Drew might switch back to Doom. No, no. Drew normally plays Zero Doom Virgil. That's what he's traditionally played. But, uh, you know, Jam Session is all the craze now. That's what the kids are listening to. <laughs> jam Session's godlike, man. There's a reason why people use it. But here we go. Jutorius able to get the first hit cleanly. Got a meaty Phoenix because of her air mobility, just like that. Uh, missing some of the conversions here. He's not used to the jam session, though. I mean, I assume that's me. I mean, he's probably been playing it for a couple of months at least, though. Yeah, it, uh, do, it definitely does take a little bit to get used to. I'm sure he's been playing it off and on for a few years as well. I mean, every Zero player has uh, has experimented. There we go. We got the snap again. Keep it meaty. Yes, but no. Dropped it at the tail end. There it is, jam session, very meaty this time. There's no way Phoenix is gonna get five. Here we go. Yo, LT coming through the sub. <laughs> LT said, I hate you, Tong. Take my college, college tuition money, much love. I love you too, son, it's okay. <laughs> he was mad about that joke earlier. I thought I made that joke about myself and he laughed. He was mad, and then he went to laughing. I know. <laughs> now LT think I got a camera in his house. All right, here we go, man. Eccentric doing pretty good with the Morgan here. You can start the infinite. No, but the drop. Okay, going to give the Sparta Brothers a chance here. Oh, dash up mm. into the level one? I like that. You saw the courage he had to just dash in there, though, right? No hesitation, man. Knew exactly what he was going to do. For the media age. Just got to watch out for the Helm Breaker or the Super here. Oh, level three. Is that going to connect? It does. It's fully invincible. It's going to catch Virgil, that's for sure. Uh-oh. She'll be able to get Morgan out of here. Going to be up to Chun-Li. Can she actually hit the ground? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. she hits the ground and throws Virgil there, too. Cedric's Chun is pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn good, as in currently the best active Chun in the world, in my opinion. I take that. Yeah, for sure. All right, Jutori's going to make a swap to the Dr. Doom, like you were saying earlier. Might be a best call. It's the team he's more comfortable with. 
Yeah, I mean, I think Jam Session does better against Morgan, and it does really well against locking Phoenix down, but, but stick with what you're comfortable with, yeah, right? You also got to play Dante on top of that as well. Like, obviously, I know Morgan's better than Hulk, but I'm going to win more matches with Hulk than Morgan because that's what I'm comfortable with. Very true. The snap. Okay, trying to keep it meaty. Good evasion here from Eccentric to get out of there. Okay, very sneaky with the missiles, trapping her. Oh no, little miss on the jump there. Here we go, gonna boot up the Sokenmu here. Gonna try and chase down Morgan. Shell kick, okay. Dr. Doom took a little bit of damage, still okay. The lightning, no, not quite. And what a throw here from Eccentric. Centric's so good in the neutral, man. Understanding when missiles are coming down, when you can attack, when you can go for Oki, and when to back off. Yeah, very smart player here. There we go. We're going to bring in the Phoenix. Oh, yeah, we're pretty much at five here, so we're going to have her pop on her terms. All right, Drew Torius not able to find any solid footing here against Phoenix. Oh, that was a throw. You heard the butter gun come out. A lot of scary situations. Oh, let's try to shoot photons. Teleport takes over. Oh! Wake up, mash and throw. Maybe that's what I would do. This is a good setup for Jutorius, though. She pops up the top. You have swords already booted up. Yeah, it's not a guaranteed setup at all. Oh! I thought he might have crowned them. Oh, yeah, you throw that. Oh! Did you see that? Oh, my God! He was coming down with the down H canceled it and went into S so that he didn't have to land in the swords and was able to pop Virgil in the head. Eccentric looking godlike here. You didn't see that one coming, bro. Yeah, that was clean. I, I, I got caught off guard for sure. All right, let's see who can win it out here. We got Airborne, the Spider-Man King of the Midwest versus Idom. You know, shout out to Autobot Betty coming through with the sub seven months. We appreciate all your support for Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and TNS. Oh, going for the snap. Going to bring in the Strange. Doesn't want to deal with the bolts. I think that's a good call. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. I mean, realistically, I, th I think killing Dante first is, is okay. I think that might even be the optimal play. I think Idom, Idom's second best character is actually Dormammu. His Dorm is actually pretty good. I agree with that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Almost got it there. Off the missiles at the top. Almost did it. Great awareness there, but he's about to get chipped out if he doesn't hard attack soon. Do you see out? Out. Oh, oh, went right through. Yeah, I did not right away. It definitely had to eat up some of the hits of the stalking flare first, but it was fast enough. Oh, once again, let me try one more time, bro. Jam session, yeah, here we go. Should be enough and is. A right, little flame carpet here for the setup. And he kind of falls right into it, gets hit. Oh yeah, you definitely take that. I think he was expecting a little bit, uh, a little bit trickier mix up. It's pretty rough for Dr. Doom right here, man. Stocking player started up for IDOM, does connect, forward H. Bad dash from Airborne there to get slapped up. Like, what is Dr. Doom gonna do, man? Uh, this? That that was a good call, or at least a good try. I mean, you act like Dr. Doom has never come back in a match before or something. Yeah, it's uh, just a lot is, of work. This is not good. This is, oh yeah, it does go underneath. Smart X Factor from IDOM. He you saw that little bit of the photon going underneath the stalking flare. Yeah, because if you hit on the stalking flare, it's gone, and then he's back to neutral there, so. Looks like IDOM is very knowledgeable in his matchup. Good delay from H to S there, just to put him in the right height. There we go, cash it out, million dollars. Should be able to get the next one, and Spider-Man should be out of here. Looking good for IDOM right now. Also get to set up a little bit of that set play with Stalking Flare and get your charges ready for the next character. Yeah, this is definitely the complete setup. There wasn't much Stalking Flare left, but enough to keep him on the ground. 
And at the end of the day, that's all you can ask for. That's like basically all off a chip and a few stray hits. Oh, and the hyper goes right through once again. Dante eating half health damage here. It's okay though. As long as Dormammu got away, can't chase it forever. Missiles might save. Okay, they do not. And what a confirm from Idom here. I like that little trickiness. Getting a, getting a little hop combo there with uh, Dr. Strange Bolt. Managed to avoid all the spells, but idom has got another set. It's rough, because as soon as you pin him down, you got oh. something like that coming out. And look at the confirm from Idom. And Idom definitely was in trouble there. Airborne could have gone for the throw. Yeah, an easy X Factor, another Chaotic Flame. Idom looking strong right now. Spider-Man the cross under almost got them both with the assist from Modok. Okay, missiles are gonna save here. Ooh, pretty good job. I, I love the teleports right now. Got them both from Idom. Here we go. The stinger just too meaty. Yep, easy chaotic flame. Get them both. Spider-Man on chip. That might go through. And it does not. The tail end catches. Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, Airborne's been having the Doctor Doom trying to make the comeback. Now you have Modok here, and obviously this super can go through. Still a lot of work, though. Oh, and this is looking like a shutout here from IDOM. Airborne didn't have much of a chance there, unfortunately. IDOM just looking too strong today, too dominant. We got players like Tudamax here who managed to keep Hulk on the map. So regardless of the matchup character-wise, you got to play against the player. And Tudamax knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah, you were definitely right about that one. Yeah, what an absolute godlike way to start that combo. Speaking of godlike, shout out to Ghost for coming through with the sub 15 months. <laughs> Came down with the jump light right on your head. That's not something you'd expect from Hulk. And I don't know if the Gamma Charge crossed up or not, but a lot of people just switch block for no reason anyway. That's the crazy thing. It almost looked like it did, though. Oh. oh. Yes, there. <gasps> it's all right, though. It's all right, though. Gamma Wave is going to crush it. Man, Scam likely cannot get away. Luckily, the drop combo it doesn't matter, though. Okay, good X-Factor, great throw here for Scam Likely to get back into this. Yeah, really bad dash attempt there into a crouch light. There we go, try to set the missiles up, it'll give you a little bit more cover, but just a little too fast. I think the speed tackle is more to get away, save some X-Factor, or take some X-Factor time away from Scam. Gives you a look. Overhead does connect. Disgusting from two to max. Yeah, great block on the quicker overhead, but that slow one, that's where that's where you get mixed up. It's like one of those things where it's like, I already had to block it once. He wouldn't do it again, and it just comes out. I think you just hesitate. There's a lot of hesitation. You know, you look at it, it's like you're already blocking high. Or maybe I should block low. Oh, oh, my God. My dude just dashed up, hit him with the crouch light. In the two for one here for two to Max, looking very strong right now. I mean, it's gonna be up to one character. If you wanted one character, Virgil is definitely the one you want in the anchor position. Oh, is that because Virgil's like a good anchor or something? He's okay. Yeah. He'll get the job done, you know? Oh, I think he's ass. Oh, damn it. Come on, two to Max. Oh, and the incoming mix up hits. Nova's going to go down. Sentinel, five meters. He can hard drive here if he wants to beat the incoming, but he doesn't get anything out. That's rough, bro. I mean, Sentinel doesn't have that much health. He died in like four hits right there. Yeah, it took nothing at all. Sentinel's health bar just disappeared, bro. He just hit the delete button on that one. 
bit of projectiles. Try to keep Hulk away with the Sogenmu here to help with the projectiles to keep him at the other side. I definitely like that. I mean, you already have Hulk at half health here. So, I mean, if you can play a little bit of the Chip War, you'd be fine. Yeah, I mean, it's very underrated. You know, I mean, it's one of the best zoning in the game. But people forget because Zero does such a good job with Mix, rushing you down. His buttons are kind of ridiculous, too. Zero doesn't have weaknesses, man. I would say, yeah, he's definitely a complete character. That's for sure. You think he's, like, good or something? Oh, he's great. Great? Amazing. Yeah, I think he's great. There we go. Oh, but problems completing the loop. No worries at all, though. We got Buster to save the day. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Up the Sentinel again. I wonder what his options are. A hard drive, possibly. No, he's going to take it, and then TK hard drive to get out. And he's going to catch both of them. He's going to pop X. Is that going to work? Yes, it keeps them both in line here. Everyone's dead. All right. But is the incoming game going to be good enough? No, he just does stand medium. He kept it a little too simple. He, he thought Helmbreaker was coming out in that sequence right there. Yeah, but you can't leave it for you to guess. You know what I mean? Don't, don't be in a situation where you're the one guessing when you have the incoming advantage. I definitely like the media option going into Virgil. Here we go. We got the install looking good here for Scam Likely. Just got to get a little bit more meter so he can get one more. And it drops at the tail end, but able to get the combo back and should be able to get the kill on Hulk here. Dude, the Max looking real sorry right now. He's getting his ass busted by Scam Likely. Oh. Okay, good command dash to get out of that. What was that? What was that, bro? There we go. Missile? No missile. Huge happy birthday here. That's what I'm talking about to the max. All right, Scam Likely still with the Virgil left, though. Speed tackle does not work. Oh, but the overhead from Nova once again. That's basically unblockable at this point. It's so, it's like not that fast, but it's just fast enough in the X Factor, man. Going for the snap at the start of the match. Wants the Nova out of here. I don't hate that idea. I mean, Nova's been giving you a lot of issues. But that's the thing. There's no advantage to killing Nova first. You know, like, strategically, it doesn't make any sense. If you kill Hulk first, because you can loop and kill Hulk, it's the same oh. thing. Get him at the top and does. And, and it didn't matter because Nova ended up killing you anyways, and so is Hulk. All right. With the extension there, he's going to go for the snap. Now, this makes a lot of sense here. Snap and Virgil so you don't have to deal with that X-Factor 3 shit. We're going fully optimal here. Still doesn't have any meter left for Dr. Doom coming in, but it's not really that big of a problem against Doom. God, bro. Oh, the drop combos are starting to become a problem, though. There we go. Put the super out. Just try to slow Hulk down. Let that X Factor go just a little bit. Why is 2 to Max using medium gamma waves against a, a full screen opponent? Oh, even Wood getting hit by the drone. Still able to get the combo going. <gasps> Oh, he's going to dash. He dashed. <laughs> oh, no. Not like that, man. Yeah, to the max, able to close it out. But Scam likely looking real good, man. Strong. Anybody that was here 30 minutes ago got that joke. No one else did. All right. Idom versus Living Legend. This is definitely going to be one of the matches of the night. Well, good back off there on Akuma, man. Living Legend was definitely ready for it. There we go. Able to clear it with the Magnum there, but Bolts are going to trade out. This is going to be a lot of... Oh, no. That is... Is that what he wanted? Maybe? 
You got the chip. You got a lot of damage on Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah I thought that was accidental. It was definitely intentional. Blast, thanks so much for coming through with the sub. 14 months with us. Chris Gang? I can dig that. Oh, I don't know about Chris Gang now, though. He said, yeah, you right. There we go, level three. Going to get the kill on Chris here for Idom. Get some of the momentum back in the match with this. Oh, it wasn't enough, but there we go. The chip's able, gonna, able to do it. Yeah, second pillar does the trick. Oh, and the incoming, not not clean incoming, but you know what? Bolts home. He said, shit, it worked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he no. pops out. And Easy. he has enough time to pop X, and that's going to be a full punish. It's time. Ooh, a little too early on the mix up there. Got the screen tear. Yeah, with the X Factor going on right now, though, Legend definitely does have a little. Oh, he could have command thrown there. Please. You have a big enough gap to command throw in between? Uh, I think it's because of the way he was positioned. He was like point blank. Command throw is one frame, so if he had time to move back, he had time to command throw. That would have been sweet. Like, here we go, man. Just opt him with the zone in here. Right now, like, Living Legend's just trying to play it safe right now, not overextend himself. That can connect. Oh, and the teleport recovery is almost instant, man. Ooh, again, going with the super, trying to look for a straight hit. Oh, Idom looking like he's uh, basically done here. This is going to mix. Yes, goes right underneath Dormammu's feet. That, that's a weird one because, like, his first hit is always going to be up to the top left corner or right corner, depending on where you're at. I have calculated it's roughly at an 11.2 degree angle upward. Mm. Very nice, Tom. Yes. There we go. Happy birthday. Akuma's out of here. Now you're just going to finish up on Chris. Yeah, and that's definitely one of the biggest pain points when you're having to play against Legend is that Akuma always looming in the background and the reset off the forward tech. Gets up the flame carpet, going for the back. Oh, but misses on the X-Factor 3 conversion. <laughs> <laughs> Idom hit him with the raw launcher. It's like, uh huh. And you got hit? Did that work? <laughs> he was not ready. Still works out for him, though. Real quick game, two here. I would definitely say uh, Dormammu's raw S is probably one of the better ones in the game. It's really uh, it's really position dependent. So obviously, it's one, it's one of the most active, if not the most active launcher in the game. And it's almost impossible to punish if you block it on the outside half. But if you block it on the inside half, it's a guaranteed punish. Okay. Get some charges. Looking good for Idom right now. That was amazing. Able to kill Chris off that touch right there. The Try dash light on the incoming legend. Not able to block it. Easy X factor here. And Fulzetsu coming through with a sub. 19 months. Thank you so much, Fulzetsu. Make sure y'all check them out. surprising that we didn't get a DP super there from Legend in the corner. Right. You know, this ended with 76 on the timer in the last game, too. Oh, worse? Let's see if he can do it again. Airplay does trade out. He did at least manage to get the glasses off, so he does have the 10% speed boost, even if he didn't get the damage off the season. So usually after a couple of hits, Wesker's glasses fall off anyway. Is that how it goes? No matter what. Oh, here we go. Got the happy birthday, but no, Doctor Strange is going to fall out, and we have an easy X factor here. He wanted the X because Doctor Strange is bleeding. So if he can rush through Dormammu, Idom's going to be in a bad spot here. Oh, my God. Okay, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. I have no idea what happened. I think he team super so early that Wesker just went up, didn't track the new character coming in. And I think it was intentional. Yep. Easy finish on Doctor Strange. That X Factor paid off for him in dividends. That was a pretty sweet little sequence he had going on there, man. I actually don't know what dividends are, by the way. That's like a rich people word. <laughs> That's just something people say. Somebody could educate me. That'd be great. Snap mid screen. This is where Dante's strong at. 
Yo, Blue Gray coming through with a sub. Thank you so much for subbing for the first time. That's a huge deal to us. Oh, right after the fireball from Live and Legend. Yes, Live and Legend coming through with it. I thought he dropped the combo. Yep, got the spike. Should be able to finish this up. <laughs> okay, okay. That was pretty sneaky stuff. Oh, and with the extension and the second super, Chris is going to be able to finish off Dorm. Okay, um, got with the chip. Yeah, that's good enough. He's got to watch out for the super from IDOM. It is two to two right now. This is game five. Can IDOM make this comeback to win the set? Living Legend is way ahead right now. Idom's gonna have to spend some resources. And oh no, Chris is still alive. All right. That's good that he was able to get rid of him right there, though. Oh, he did get the hit. <gasps> That's it. It's still a game, though. Legend has X Factor, three meters, and Wesker is more than capable oh! of fighting X Factor to command throw. And that's going to do it. The level three finish legend down to the wire between these two, though. That was a godlike X Factor command throw there from uh, Legend. It was like tail end of the moment, man. Oh, man. That was scary. All right. Looks like LT is sticking with the same team he played last week and he was able to win with. Oh, but he might need to switch back. Standing medium armor move. A lot of people don't know. Standing medium is actually uh, the armor is active on frame three. So that's pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't hit on frame three, but the armor does. And really, that's all that matters. He's not even going to snap, man. He's going to go right through the team. Got him early, so there's not enough meter built. You don't think he's going to snap? Nah, you kill. I don't know, man. This is dangerous right here. You're playing with fire. If Phoenix gets one hit, she's going to get five. Because she's going to X. Phoenix might not get that hit, though. Oh, pop the X factor. Good late push guard there from two to max, though. LT wasting all his X factor time and wasting all his character's health, too. LT never had a chance here. You're about to lose to another hole? It could happen right now, man. 2 Max looking very strong. Yeah, 2 Max definitely looking a lot cleaner in this game than he did against Scam Likely earlier. Checking out Rust off. There we go, though. LT able to get the first hit here with Magneto. For the TAC, and it is broken, so okay. There's definitely a chance that 2Max gets a hit, and it's clean like this. We can opt for the snap here. 2Max using a lot of standing medium. That's the difference between a, a good hole oh. and a great hole. Oh, yes. I use a lot of H. I'm a good hole. 2Max <laughs> Max uses a lot of standing medium. He is a great hole. All right, got the push to the corner. Going to try and kill Hulk here and should be able to do it. Okay, looking good for LT now. Trying to keep it meaty, but Nova able to get the throw here. Yes, an easy X factor. Trying to take Magneto out of the game immediately. Now you get to set up your javelin. Speed tackle does connect with the follow-up, but the drone's looking so strong too to Max. Doesn't even need the follow-up. One away now. Okay, LT's going to stick to it. Woo, at the start of the match, the Gamma Charge able to connect, but no, Tudamax drops at the top. Fantastic confirm from LT there, coming with that Tri-Dash Light, able to make it happen here. Look for the reset, but Tudamax is not biting. Zoning's looking very strong here for LT. Going to try and snipe on that super and does. I'm going to take a lot of damage here. Almost got 
Yeah, with the age, great tech at the top here. And then, yeah, just get sandwiched in between the drones here. Age can't quite adjust, though. And then on the way down, LT able to get that clean hit with the light. Oh, but a huge drop there. It's all right, though. Able to pick it back up with the throw. We got those meters on lock. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, but what are you going to do here, though? Oh, uh, unnecessary DHC. I don't think he was close to being punished there. LT is out of X Factor here, so her health is going to go down pretty quickly. Oh, I don't think that's going to matter, though. The combo into, uh, yeah, he should have enough here. Even though she doesn't have X Factor, she's still so dangerous. Yeah, man. I mean, she's got hitboxes just oozing out of her, you know? <laughs> oh, and the standing medium once again paying off. Do the max pretty close to, to taking one over LT. Side, good block from LT though. Looking for the reset, gets the throw there. That's definitely a good look here. You're able to save the meter for Phoenix and get the kill as well. Yeah, at this point, if LT just dies, he'll have five meters. Popping the X on Nova? He trusts this. He trusts his Doom more than he trusts his Phoenix, I guess. Yeah, and he's probably not scared of Sentinel by himself. So we'll see if he's got something to be scared of. Oh, uh, hard drive hits, but not able to get a conversion off of it. Oh <gasps> no, that's not how this works, bro. You're gonna get hit. Oh, that's so rough right there. Yeah, a little miscalculation by two the max there. Yo, Info coming through with a $20 contribution to the match, Reno. Thank you so much for contributing to the prize pool for the players. Appreciate you guys so much. I'm surprised Tudor Max hasn't opt for the snap early on there. Yeah, I mean, I think it would be a good call. I think a lot of the times in this set, he had to hit early on to where he felt like he could just kill all the way through. That makes sense for sure. The TAC up. Oh, got the block and Phoenix is in. Gotta look for the, probably the raw tag possibly. Oh, <laughs> once again, the standing medium has been paying off so much. Oh, and he might, he might build a kill. He might build a kill. Yes. Oh. Just before LT hits five meters here. Oh no, this spells trouble though. This is gonna be a free kill here. Might not even need meter. Oh, he's gonna spend one, oh. no! <laughs> he decided to side switch. Huge mistake by LT, and Tudomax is gonna win the set for it. Oh, <laughs> he got some of the bags. Man, Tudomax. That's a huge upset right there. And there was only 4% of y'all that bet on two to max. Here we go. Here we go. Bruno here playing all the way from Brazil. He was already matching that back H. He was ready. Don't do no Q stuff. Look at Frankie G thinking he cute playing Spencer Point. You do got a bionic arm. That does help a lot, but missing the TK grapple. I don't like Frankie G in this matchup. Especially Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. Bruno doing a good job keeping the zoning game going, though. Those assist calls are definitely making Frankie hesitate a little bit on the grapple. Jam session in the way. That's an ugly side team for Frankie, though. I'm not a fan, bro. I regret putting him on the stream. <laughs> you thought you were going to see Magneto. I thought I, I thought I was going to see him play decent, you know? 
<laughs> oh no, and the clean hit on Virgil here gets the bolo reset as well for Bruno. Oh, kind of messed up there, giving him a chance, and the hard tag actually gets Hawkeye in cleanly. Oh, got them both. You gotta watch out. The swords do run out faster when it hits two characters. Looks like Bruno went for a double jump there. Frankie G able to capitalize with the air throw on the incoming. Oh, is he gonna, yeah. No, he just swings right through it. He doesn't care what song you're playing. Oh, no, a little too early on the mix up. Oh, and the last hit of Rapid Slash hits, but it doesn't matter. Frankie doesn't convert. Bruno, raw launcher, wake up, able to kill Virgil. Hawkeye versus Hawkeye? Never thought I'd see this. I like the one that isn't Frankie G. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of X there. Gimlet, yeah, use the chip. And that's the thing, Bruno's fully, almost fully loaded here with the bar. So, I mean, he can pretty much ship Frankie out whenever he wants. That's fine, that's fine, because you're just trading. Nothing you can do, man. The math doesn't work in your favor, Frankie G. He said, this uh, shit ain't for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm sorry, man. I was just kidding. <laughs> Got some McButts. Frankie G held your baby once. Oh, I'm so sorry to my condolences, brother. He didn't drop it, did he? That's the joke. <laughs> Got them both here, looking good for Bruno. Doesn't matter what team you pick, he said. Oh, and that's a kill on Magneto on the last hit there. Virgil coming in though, so Frankie still got the same odds as he did two characters ago. Zero. <laughs> oh no, he miscalculated? Is that gonna connect? Okay, X Factor from Frankie Stinger, yes. Oh, Frankie's chance just went up here to zero. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> if y'all think Frankie drop combos bad in this game, bro, y'all should see him with the ladies, bro. He be fumbling all the time. <laughs> Oh, good anti-air jab there from Frankie. Frankie waking up here. No, he did not wake up. <laughs> Dropped the combo, and Bruno ready for it. Oh, okay, good quick work to go underneath the jam session and give him an easy cross up there in the neutral. Look, I'm not being mean to Frankie, guys. He literally showed me his Tinder account before. <laughs> <laughs> me and Frankie are homies. We share we share a room at events like every other weekend. Oh, does catch him in the middle of the super. Bruno going to try and get the Deadpool out. DT here for Dante. Looking for some of that air mobility you get with the activation of the DT. Got him off the mag blast. Yes, gotta love it. Level three, get him out. He said, ABC level three. This combo shit ain't for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They could catch on Magneto here. Deadpool got a good chance of fighting against Doom, even with the health disadvantage here. This matchup is really hard for Dr. Doom. Just that top angle, man. Photons and then just the gunshots from Deadpool. That's it. I mean, Dr. Doom really likes to sit up there and chill, but Deadpool has one of the few attacks that can actually get up there. But somehow Bruno kind of dashed into Dr. Doom. All right. Frankie should be good here. Ooh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, so unfortunate. Losing Virgil. Going to be up to Dr. Doom. 
And we all know this matchup is really bad for Doom. Yeah, definitely. Bruno just kind of building up his meter here. That's all he wants to do. He knows that Frankie's going to have X-Factor for longer. So he just wants to build up his meter. That's fine. Keep him at bay. That got close. Yeah, but that, that's why you build up your meter so you can spend it, keep Doom back. But how are you losing to somebody on 140 MS, bro? Make his way in. Okay. He doesn't have many more of those. Oh, but only five seconds left here. Is that going to chip enough? It Ooh. does. Bruno, 3-0 over Frankie G, playing all the way from Brazil. Damn, brother. Uh, you just lost to somebody on 140 MS? <laughs> there we go. Legend does pretty well against Hulk players, though, man. It's just the Nova, like you said. Yeah, Nova is going to give him some trouble there, especially with drones. Okay, good super jump over. Don't want to get trapped in the corner here. Oh, Ooh. my God. Swinging that baton. But it's Hulk doing all the brutality out here. Can't get there in time. Chris is still alive. Got to find a way to get him out. Get a super here to do so. And didn't even get a chance. Gamma charge right through. All right. Chris is dead. If you kill Wesker here, Akuma can't come back against Hulk, bro. I think Akuma struggles against Hulk. Like bad, bad? Yeah, bad enough. Bad enough for me to say something about it. I've not had a lot of trouble with Akumas. Good swap in here to Nova. Oh, okay, with the drones, H on the way down. Easy X factor for two to max here. Oh, <gasps> huge miss though. Now this is different, this is different. I said Akuma doesn't, doesn't do well against Hulk, but he's fine here against Nova and Hulk has to come in against this. So everybody can be a victim <laughs> to an incoming mix up. Doesn't matter what the matchup is. Oh, it's over. Ooh. It's over. Go ahead and pack it up to the max. Almost got him with the stand jab there. Oh, oh. never mind. Dude, the max is the best. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> you know, my money is safe. My money is safe. Yeah, every, everybody in the chat guess wrong twice. <laughs> Early start for two to max here. Oh, and he could have killed, but he wants that Akuma. He knows how dangerous that Akuma is. I do feel like, like I said earlier, with Hulk doing fairly well against Akuma, I don't think the snap is necessary. Gets away with the free hard tag there, though. Able to get the team back in order for Legend. Oh no, he tried to do a little hop in the command throw there. He thought Living Legend was asleep. Playing grenade. Oh, looking for the tech chase. That was kind of ridiculous. He super jump, had the, gun, uh, the guns coming out the tail end, able to cross up with it. Yeah, unfortunately though, Legend dropping the combo there. Last two to max net, the air throw and the gamma crush for the kill. Oh no. Oh, what a throw. Okay, was able to get the H out early enough to trade. Now, 2 to max does have Nova. Living Legend struggles against Nova a little bit. Oh. But, uh, oh, but 2 to max's Nova isn't quite as smooth as most Nova players. You know what I mean? Oh, no, didn't want to spin the meter. Okay, Tots is going to do it, though. For the cross under, and there you go. Just getting bopped by the frying pan. Jump back S, bro. It's advanced tactics. Here we go. What's it going to be? <gasps> I love that M on the way down. What is he doing? Why is he swinging moves that don't reach? Oh Doesn't matter what he's doing there. Command throw after the dash up. Sentinel will save the day twice now. It almost looked like his sentinel was malfunctioning for a second. <laughs> yeah, AI, bro, you can't trust it. Oh, great start for Legend here. Oh, man. 
Looks like Legend doesn't have any connection issues now. Oh, got the kill on Sentinel and a Hulk here for Legend. Now you just have to deal with this Nova. Can you get him locked down? X Factor into the throw, living Legend. Damn, this is a body bag. I see Legend's tactic. Ice them out. You did a good job there, man. That was almost a perfect as well. Katy Perry, FTC says uh, they believe in Legend now. I don't know. I don't know, homie. Legend not looking too good. He's going to have to drop one of those words from his taint. Oh, oh. no. That's not good. Oh, uh, Kuma going for a ride, though. Oh, we got Genius. Both. Genius to the max. Oh, with the overhead. Two overheads. No, why would you why would you not do the full combo, dummy? I got money on you. <laughs> I hate this dude. If you I swear to God if you lose me twenty dollars. That's a lot of work for Wesker though. X Factor is running out as well. No way. Alright, X Factor's gone. Peter Max did not swing. Oh no. Got the hard tag. Oh, no. you <laughs> dummy! Why? Sentinel gone. I think I've been pronouncing Two to Max's name wrong this whole time. Two damn Max. That's his real name. Come on, bro. Rhino charge, and let's see DHC's out. No, no, you're gonna lose Nova. Oh. Oh my God. I swear to God, bro. Oh, the command throw is so sneaky from Living Legend. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> I can't believe I bet on two to max. To the max. Come on, bro. I believe in you. Yes. All right, all right. This should be a wrap here for Chris. He should not take any risks. And s no, don't snap. Got out. Got the throw. Looking good. Okay, good snap. Good. S no, oh. you, you oh. suck. <laughs> he said, "We back. We back." Oh, did he try command throw? What, what is he doing, bro? He's making up new ways to lose. Bruh. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is, why, would you, why would you do that super? Okay, here we go. Here we go. We are composed. We are back. I'm okay. You sure? No, I'm not okay. <laughs> Uh, RIP $20, guys. We're going to have to shut the stream down. <laughs> oh, my God. Goddamn Abraham Lincoln Hulk out here, bro. Just getting shot. Oh, good blocks from Legend. <laughs> you can't even hard drive because Legend will just super in the... <laughs> <laughs> Counter super afterwards. Looking for the rocket punch. Almost connects. Why would you do light rocket punch there? I know it hit, but damn, that made no sense. He's dead. Right here. Oh, no.
You were still lagging. Stop lying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain was lagging. Didn't make any sense of any of those decisions you made. <laughs> look, F Champ dressed to KBR, and look what happened to him, all right? <laughs> Got body. All right, Carlos versus Yuli here in the Zero Mirror. It should be pretty exciting, though. But in case you hate Zero, we'll see you in the next match. Oh, almost had the happy birthday there. Almost is a, is a word. It is. He launched him and then didn't do anything else. He almost. Okay, look for the buster there. Jam session, keeping him locked down. Medium lightning, that is definitely the Yuli special right there. Very good use of it, and gets the side switch. Going to be able to get the kill on zero here. Looking good. Lightning, jam session, keep him locked in the corner. That was godlike stuff from Yuli. He, had, he has air approach covered and his uh, forward. X-Factor standing low. There we go, King Carlos. Yeah, the standing light hitting low. It's so tricky. I think Viper is one of two characters with us in this game. Morgan and yeah. uh, Viper. Yeah. The X burn kick, get across the whole screen there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the rapid slash is going to cross you up, though. You really should be able to get the kill here. Looking good. Dr. Doom coming in with no X factor. Yo, high vibrations coming through with 100 bits. Thank you so much, homie. Appreciate the support. Appreciate y'all getting to a second hype train tonight. Y'all crazy. Yuli's doing a very good job of being patient, putting his jam session out, just throwing the round trip, and kind of playing, you know, a little bit of zoning here with the Sparta brothers. Oh, he needs to be careful on that assist call. Oh, that's going to be game over, though. He's going to put that right into the swords. PAC? No, no, you get you got ground bounce. Oh, I could have PAC. Just looking for the chip, play it slow. Uh oh, not like that. Good blocks though. That's not gonna hit. He's gonna be able to block there safely. Yuli avoiding any kind of confrontation here. Just wants Jam Session to clean it up for him. And that's a smart play. I don't blame him. And now we'll do it. Yeah, it's like you were saying, very smart. Just taking it slow, looking for the chip. Don't overextend yourself. Because it's very easy to get caught in a happy birthday in that situation. Let's see what adjustments we can make here from King Carlos, though. The Viper got going for a second. Okay, jam session. Here we go. So again, move from Yuli, trying to confirm. Medium lightning, but blocks on the cross up though. Until the cross under, but we got the drop. Okay, hard tag. Oh no, punish though. Letting Yuli get away with it for free here. Again, you gotta watch out for the round trip. Virgil can get to the other side, and same as S. So sneaky. You got to love the little zero assist there to help you get a little bit more on the extensions with the jam session. Got the drop, hard tag, punish. Can you make an adjustment? Yes. That might be no X. Okay. High time, but the scaling is crazy, but you're going to be able to build the bar here for the sword so you can get a little bit more pressure. Let's show us the feed is. Give it, giving the tier one to B-Man? Both my homies. Thanks for the love, Fias. We appreciate you as always. There we go. Viper on the work here. Carlos has the bar to get the kill on Virgil. This is looking very good. Oh, no, but the drop. Okay, but Buster's going to clean up, so you're still in good positioning here for Carlos. Off of the missiles. Oh, not quite. Got to release the Buster. Got the DT. Yuli looking for a little bit of that air mobility here. There you go. A little bit of the air raid. Get some of the chip. Okay, DT is out, though. Looking for the grapple. That's kind of hard to hit on Viper because her mobility is kind of crazy, especially air mobility. And she can throw whatever she wants. You know, you got to watch out for the EX Thunder Knuckles, too. 
Stinger does connect. Using the burn kick mobility to try and get across. Here we go, DT, because the grapple takes so much recovery. Oh, okay, good seismo there on the snipe. And again, oh, the optic blast catches on the tail end, and then the back dash out of the FADC. One more hit, and Viper was gone out of that. Genius decision to super right through Stinger. There we go, got zero in, 19 seconds on the clock. Gonna be up to Yuli Zero here with X-Factor running out. Puts up the Sogen move, gonna try and make an advance forward here. He might be running out of time. Ace Lightning does connect, good stuff from Yuli here. But I don't think you have enough time for all this. If Viper can get out cleanly right here, you should be okay. But that's going to connect. Opting for the snap. Three seconds left. Can't quite do it. Good super there from Carlos. Just to slow zero down. Genius stuff there at the top. Player one wins. <laughs> here we go. Tying it up. Go for <laughs> the raw launcher at the start of the match. There we go, going for the Sogenmu here for Carlos. Trying to put a little bit more pressure on Yuli in the back of the corner. But he's doing a good job. He's already gotten a lot of chip off the board there. And then Yuli answers back as well, but the jump H does do it for King Carlos here. Now Carlos looking pretty good right now, man. Playing very strong. Ooh, okay, Lightning right there, able to catch, push to the corner as well. Should be able to get the kill here. I got the X popped as well. Now yeah, Carlos did pretty well in pulls to even make it here on Winter Side Top 16, and able to take out Yuli, who has been on a hot streak lately. It's quite the accomplishment, you know. Yuli's been killing it, bro. So he's doing very strong right now. Yeah, Carlos was able to beat MPH and Cosmos to make it in the Top 16 Winter Side. Top Cosmos and MPH, uh, dude. That's yeah. a good achievement there. Yeah, MPH was able to make it out in Loser Side for Top 16. And Cosmos as well, but still. Oh, backdash right into the jam session. Okay, offer the swords here for a little bit of Oki on wake up. Does connect on the tech chase here, though, but you are out of meter, so you're going to have to look for a reset. Oh, no, drops out of the swords, but the hard tag is going to cost Carlos here. No, it does not. All right, got him back here. Yuli does have a bar. Gonna look on the tech chase again. Got to watch out for the jam session. Good push forward. Rapid slash. No meter to keep safe, but it doesn't matter. The OS off the throw. Able to make it happen. Now at this point, Yuli can keep it pretty simple. Get the kill. Get on to Viper here. And then one thing you got to watch out with Viper, she has options. She has very good frame traps with the rapid seismos, EX seismos. So as soon as, just like that, EX Thunder Neck catches them both. I love when Vipers do that. I love, that's my favorite shit, bro. It's great, bro. It's one of the coolest moves in the game. Every time I play Viper, that's all I ever do. Same, bro. <laughs> Yo, Big Bear, thank you so much for coming through with the sub. Shout out to the Australian fam. Shout out to the family from all over the world, honestly. But yeah, big thanks to you. And also for Fetus coming through with the gift sub earlier. Yeah, LP, you need to stop, bro. Oh, great confirm from Carlos here. Should be able to build up the one bar now. This is huge for Carlos if he could take out Yuli. Yeah, I mean, that would put Carlos on the winner side of top eight if he can beat him here. And I don't believe we've had King Carlos on the winner side of top eight before. Maybe through losers for sure. Yeah, yeah. So big shots to everybody hitting the follow button, though. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. 
and you can see it, the way Carlos is playing, he's playing like a winner right now, bro. The decisions he's making, there's no indecisive stuff way he's put behind He's it. clean, man. Yes. He's clean. All his inputs are clean. I'm not seeing a lot of drop conversions, confirms, anything like that. Nothing, man. Nice and tight. One more mix up here for Carlos. This is going to save. Yes, they do. He's going to force X-Factor from Yuli here. Oh, <gasps> no way. Upwards lightning. Let's go. That was godlike decision making from King Carlos there. All right, all right, King Carlos. Yeah, Otani, the greatest ball player of all time, bro. Anybody tell you otherwise is tripping. All right? I'm telling you, y'all don't understand. If, if anybody thinks that Babe Ruth is the best ball player Otani, of all time while Otani exists, you guys are crazy. He's the GOAT, bro. Yeah, you, you know. prove it. You know, five foot six, you know, 300 pound fat man ain't competing with Otani, bro. Otani is literally the GOAT. <laughs> you know, it's like, a, bro, it's like they say, bro. I mean, look, Otani is playing right now where the athletes are crazy strong and fast and, you know, talented. And yeah, and Babe Ruth never had to play against a Dominican, bro. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like you know, like you can't compare. I'm just saying, Otani the GOAT, bro. Y'all watch. So what going. kind of fastball is this? <laughs> <laughs> I love Ken Griffey. I'll keep it real. I love Griffey. Griffey, Griffey was great, but he's not the GOAT. He up there, though. He's, he's, str he's, he's strong. He's up there. He's one of the most naturally talented ball players of all time. I feel like I feel like it was uh, his, his oh. skill couldn't have been. Oh, my God. His skill couldn't have been any better. I feel like his utilization and like his career could have been better. You know what I mean? He's still amazing. Still a Hall of Famer, no matter oh, what. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a guarantee Hall. He could have cut. He could have cut his career halfway short, and he was still winning the Hall of Fame. But anyway, enough about baseball, bruh. LT about to hit a home run on MPH though. He got, his, he got his main team out here. He's trying. He said, "If we're running through the losers, it's time." I like the little stall play for LT right now. Just got to watch out for Strider. That's the only thing, man. He's on the way down, able to connect, but no MPH wasn't ready, but the flame grenade was. Great stuff to put that down preemptively there. We're talking about baseball. Chris don't have grenades like softball. <laughs> I still wouldn't be able to hit it, dude. <laughs> Anything, anything. Over, oh. oh, my God. Let's go. Full screen grapple. He said, I know you. <laughs> there we go. Oh, actually, he got the hit by the grapple. And what an X factor from MPH here. This is like one of those moments where I say Strider should kill. Yeah, and does. Still have five on deck here. You have time for Ouroboros if you need it. And there it is. He might get hit. Oh. <gasps> Strider, if, if, if Marvel vs. Capcom was going to have a baseball team, Strider would definitely be the shortstop, right? Oh, no, 100%. No, Nova would be. Yeah, Nova definitely. He, he'd probably Ken Griffey Jr. underneath that mask, bro. He, he left field. Strider, like that scrappy shortstop that steals a bunch of bases, just gets on. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's why you got the teleport. Mm -hmm. Dr. Church in the house. Can we get a little church in here? Coming through with the gift sub. There we go. Cash is super out. Got to get the kill on Nova here. Oh, man, that will definitely do it. Oh, big Ooh. whip on the incoming. It doesn't matter, though. LT tries for a second time to get a hit on MPH. Flame grenade too strong, man. He 0 for 4 right now. He's batting 0. Oh, no, he popped out. <gasps> All right, though. We caught it back. We caught it back. No errors. That was kind of crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, a little grounder to the corner. There we go, X Factor. Going to make sure he gets the kill here. Looking good for MPH. The 
up over the jam session. Oh my goodness, able to connect right after it. So fast from MPH here. Uh, LT already lost the two to max in bracket today. He might need this, Tong. You never know. If, if our reigning champion loses twice here and settles for 13th place, bruh, I don't know. There's no triple header in Marvel. We need to get one of those uh, those therapist uh, sponsorships. You know what I mean? Is that better health? Better health. <laughs> we need a better health sponsorship, bro, because LT going to need that. I don't know how I lost the bracket last night. <laughs> okay, but th there's his Dr. Doom can definitely do it. He, he might not be able to. He was trying to get the snipe on Strider. I do like the idea and the flame grenade again! <laughs> you thought. <laughs> oh, that's rough. We're going back to the minor leagues. Oh, he's getting benched for sure. <laughs> Oh, and no more X Factor left here. Not much of a chance here. I mean, LT has been known to make magic happen. Not this time, though. Flame grenades put in work in this set, though. Two-one lead for NPH. Can he keep this going here? <laughs> wow. All right, if you can complete this infinite, I'll start believing in LT again. I think he got these. He's doing the easy version. Right, LT has woken up. Javelin hits Meaty. Does connect here, though. Opted for the hard tag. A little bit more damage with Doom scaling there. Definitely the right call. You already know, man. Spencer coming up here on cleanup duty. Going to get the kill on Dante. It's going to be all up the Strider here. Strider can definitely make it happen, especially if you get a clean hit on Spencer to start. Oh, no. It messed up. You got the side switch on accident. He can level three. No, he didn't have enough of a gap there. LT early with the DHC to avoid it. Oh, oh this is working out, though. We'll take that. You got to get the kill on Doom here, no matter what. You got, Strider has to get one. <gasps> oh, he's not no. getting any. He got one. Okay. But X Factor has run out for MPH here. He can get a kill on Spencer, potentially, on one hit. Potentially. Ooh, got to get clean up those Buddha Palms, make them a little bit more ambiguous. That's perfect, though, but I don't think he's going to be able to kill off this. Yeah, Legion definitely not strong enough here. As little health as Spencer has. Legion wouldn't Ooh. have been enough. Oh, my Ooh. God. Boy, we cleaned him up. That was clean. All right, Nova, though. <gasps> MPH is going to need a solid hit in the level three here if he wants a chance. Oh, no, the orb. No punish on that. I don't even know if he could punish there. Oh, and it's going to be all over. Energy Javelin ties it up. All right, clean hit from LT here. Yeah, definitely a great start. Oh, good break from MPH, right back in it. MPH was off to a really strong start in the set, man. It's unfortunate that LT is gonna take the win here. Look, I've got the script. <laughs> LT must make every top eight. Is it you the NFL, bro? Nah, uh, NFL is real, NBA is real. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> How you block that, but then you don't block a second? I don't know, man. So fast. There we go. Get the cash out here. Yep, bring Spencer in. You already know the deal. You want to use maneuvers there, so it sets up the next incoming mix-up. That's the one thing. You got to watch out for the double jump, though. 
And look, he's going right after it. You see the air come down this way. He can't get out of the corner. That's really smart thinking. Oh, but a throw from MPH. I don't think he's going to pop the X there. He wants a hit. He's going to get hit instead. And the ADK is more than enough. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Just Tong. All right. BXP Shake. I can't believe I got a root for a Morgan. He said, This is conflicting. Your Hulk brother. <laughs> I know. I don't think TJ is using uh, drones. He didn't call drones there on that Gamma Charge. Probably has Rocket Punch still. Yeah, yeah. I never remember the colors for what, what the assists are. Me either, bro. <laughs> yeah, but he, no, he's not using the purple one. So he's definitely not using drones. TJ is learning the power, the real power of Hulk. Oh, does connect there. Easy X Factor for TJ. Sorry, uh, Tong. TJ is <laughs> using the Rocket Punch. That's my dog. Looking for the cross up. Okay, Cosmo's able to get out. Had the X Factor. Another foot dive catches Hulk here. One of these got to work. Okay, use the hard drive, get across the screen, but Virgil can get there pretty quickly. Uh, not quick enough, though. Sentinel goes unharmed. Oh, that was a punish on there with the H. Yeah, Mighty Splash, unfortunately, heavily punishable. You just got to watch for the little explosion at the end so you don't get tripped up. That's a very sneaky part of that, super. Hard drive, connect on Doom a little bit here. Oh, and the Crouch H able to kill off Hagar. And Sentinel, no chance here. Right back into it. It's unfortunate, but it happens. Virgil going to win that out one here. Early game of charge. Okay, back off. Trying to catch Morgan. Super during the shell kick, but she's safe. Not too much. Oh, my God. Huge whiff on that launcher, but no punish from CJ. Try to use H a little too late there and a 16-frame startup, so you ain't going to hit nobody. Oh, we're going to take some meter as well. Show kick does connect again for Cosmos here. Okay, hard tag. Okay, good spot the hard tag. Only taking minimal damage there. Now we're into Sentinel. Yeah, so you just got to understand, man, this, this Morgan matchup without drones is crazy. You never like labbed it up with drones just for this one? No. I switched I switched the Virgil point. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're basically relying on your opponent to hopefully make a mistake. X Factor look at the chase down. BJ doing the best he can here. Oh my goodness, and your best may be just good enough. Is that gonna be enough? No, no, not close enough yet. Oh, too early on the command throw attempt. He might have gone for medium and she might have just been too close. You got the low been. profile too. Yeah, you can't low profile the command throw, but for the for the medium version, you may be able to be too close. Okay, I got you. But I don't think so. I think it was just too early. I don't think it matters. Okay, good gamma charge to start off for TJ here. Oh, rocket punch always does the job. You got to spend another meter here. Well worth it, man. Morgan has to go. No, you can't just be sitting there looking at the feet. It looks like start up a command throw. Oh, the TAC break, though, is definitely a lucky one. He needed that. Ooh, okay, on the tail end of that one. It's hard to play this neutral without drones, man. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Not my worst enemy. <laughs> he said, I don't listen to me. 
we go. Photon should be able to clear it here. Bringing in Virgil with the swords. Oh, okay. Able to catch easy X Factor for Cosmos here. Trying to take Sentinel out. Yeah, it's going to leave TJ with just Hagar. Just in time. Back off. Okay, got the DT activated. Looking for the box dash H. You let him have that. Yeah, why not? Swords dash up. Yep, got to confirm. Plenty of meter on Cosmo's side here. Goes for the TAC. Another lucky break. Goes for the heavy violent axe. Does not reach. Need to get a couple of plinks in. Judge him orbs are so much bigger in DT there. I actually don't know if TJ knows how to plink or not. Most uh, big body players don't need to. Oh, is that close enough? No, too far. Cosmos takes this one easily, 3-0. Damn. Good attempt from TJ, though, to try to fight that battle without drones, man. That is that is something else. Oh, my goodness. Frankie G hitting you with the Frankie G. He loves doing that against Hulk on start. He also loves dropping combos on Hulk. <laughs> oh, Tudor Max didn't have a chance right there. Early gravity squeeze, getting a little extension. I like that. I like that. Hard drive coming through. Going to be safe there. I think you just got to play this very smooth and patient right here. Just watch your assist calls. That's it. Oh, almost got them both. Oh, a desperate attempt at a command throw there. Sentinel still with X Factor, though. Has a chance. Oh, and I think Frankie pushed. No, he did not. Oh, H on the way down. Able to get it for Frankie here. Man, to the max, you can't even be Frankie G. You know what's crazy? I've known Frankie for 12 years now. I mean, you, I'm talking about I beat, I beat his ass in 2012, and I beat his ass in 2023. Now I'm going to beat him again <laughs> in two weeks at Frosty Fostings. Are you playing? I might. Only if I get to play Frankie in the bracket. He said, hey, uh, let me uh, put, put, put me in the bracket. Yeah. Oh, good tech. For the S into the drones. There we go, but no OTG here. All right, definitely a good use of the X Factor there. Should have killed early, but it's okay. All's well that ends well. Oh, and it's ending very poorly here for Max. I think that's a good call on the X Factor here. Hulk has a lot of health. Oh, come on, Frankie. Oh, my God. He must have thought it was going to be a command throw there because he was pressing on wake up. You got to think. If we're this disappointed, how disappointed do you think his parents are, bro? <laughs> oh, oh yes. God. Good shit, Frankie. Let's go. Got to get the hard tag. Yeah, get Magneto in. Allow Doom to get some health back, and that's not going to allow him to get health back. What is it? Got a lot of work to do. Nova we're going to set up here. Does connect with the drones and two to max on the board. What's more likely to happen? Politician following through with his promises or Frankie G following through with his combos? The first one. <laughs> All right, Frankie G able to get away for a second, but went right back into it. I was like, I saw drones. Let me go over there so I can get mixed. <laughs> All right, he should be okay here. Good EM disruptor, though. Oh, no. I thought he was going to go for a guard, but he went for a jump light. Frankie G taking advantage. 
Y'all would think that I'm rooting for two to Max, but I'm actually rooting for Frankie. I want Frankie to win. I like it when Frankie beats Hulk players that aren't me. It, <laughs> make, it makes me better by proxy. <laughs> Back off, trying not to get trapped in the drones. Definitely a smart play there. Oh, the cross under into the throw, but can he get it? And does. That was a godlike. The Frankie does some godlike stuff, bro, all the time. He does. He really does. And then does that. And then gets the hit again. I'm more likely to connect my facial hair than Frankie is to connect his combos, bro. Like, <laughs> yo, shout out to Punk, the guy coming through with the raid. Appreciate you, homie. Hope you're doing well. Go for the reset, S. All right, come on. Come on, Frankie. Finish this. Are you kidding me, bro? Oh, no, not like this. See, y'all thinking I'm being unreasonably mean to Frankie, but look at the kind of stuff that he's doing. Tell me I'm being unreasonable, bro. Oh, okay, he back, he back, he back. I want Frankie's unit. You know what I mean? Yo, Monday coming through with the sub. Appreciate you, homie. 38 months you've been with us. Yo, Joe Crush won the Tekken World Tour qualifier? Hell yeah, Word. man. All right. Hulk able to get first blood here. Pressing on incoming. Almost got him blown up there. All right. Good foot thigh, Frankie. Let's go. All the way to the corner. Medium, medium. H, S. <laughs> Damn it, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a disappointed dad right now. I have an Asian dad, and he wasn't this disappointed. <laughs> All right, sending up Virgil, coming in with the swords here. I like that. Get him out of here. Yeah, Nova's definitely known to cause some trouble here. And obviously, this infinite is going to kill. Is he waiting? He didn't press anything. Frankie controller must have disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Easy kill here. No chance for two to max. Frankie G going to be able to take it. Oh, if he would have dropped that right there, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Come on. Not, e not, come on. not even. Come on. Not even Frankie. <laughs> Don't wish that on nobody. All right. Okay, Frankie makes it in the top eight, I guess. Like I said, we're comparing Paradigm in his prime compared to Jason Kiddo in this generation. You know, the new generation, the worst generation. <laughs> you know, like. And the thing is, like, Par like I said, oh, oh my God, oh. let's go. Paradigm was strong for so long, man. He was, you know, like I said, he was one of my favorite players to watch. But Kiddo is the only player in Marvel 3 history that I know that has double jeopardy Chris G to, to win a tournament. And that wasn't Ryan LB, you know? Who else in the history of the game has double jeopardy Chris G? And with Hagar, bro. With Hagar point. No one else has done that. Like you. Oh, go for the throw. Got the tech. All right, here we go for Yuli. Got the first kill. Same side, able to connect here as well. Looking like it's going to be all up to Magneto here for Kiddo. Oh, wait. Away with the hard tag. That connected. <laughs> oh my god. He forgot that hitting Magneto doesn't do anything. 
And the stalking player actually ate those hitboxes anyway. Living Legend in the chat, like, oh, I'd be Chris G too. Come on, Legend. That's a, that's a classic Marvel player move. Every Marvel player does this, where it's like you start talking about who be who. Like, you know, I beat that dude. You know, I played that guy before. I beat him. I'm glad I never played Chris G. I would come on. Ogren with the pipe. Okay, good bust to release. So again, moves almost out here for Yuli, though. I like to play a kiddo here, man. He's really, he look, he's just waiting for a spot and just the tech forward after the pipe, looking good. Okay, gonna DHC out. Oh, uh, but the stalking player isn't gonna work out there. Swords is gonna interrupt. Not gonna be enough. Possibly look for a reset here. Yep, at the top. No punish on the hard tag. X factors, but uh, hopefully just push blocks. Scary stuff here. Got to put the belt on for safety. I would say it'd be worth it'd be worth the X factor here if he wanted it, but he's he's not gonna do it. Oh no! Able to come out of lunar phase there, keeping Hagar alive. Oh no! I was gonna say, I don't think that's gonna work. I think he was better off just leaving Hagar in. That super might have won. Oh, Magneto's still getting slapped around. Jason, Jason Kiddo's in a bad spot right now. He's got about 400K on his health combined for his team, bro. Team is bleeding right now. No X Factor left. No Hagar. Yeah, it's over. Oh, no, Yuli dropped it. Uh oh. That's all Kiddo needs, man. Yeah, I mean, with the team complete, even without much health, it's not going to matter. The incoming is going to be too strong, especially when Yuli doesn't have X Factor left. And he's lost Virgil. Dante coming into this as a sitting duck. All right, disrupted OTG it. Yes, sir. Cash it out, get Hagar out, let him get some of that health back. Oh, he's got the maximum hits on that, too. Pillar, oh, should chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time is starting to become a factor here, though. Oh, there's so much time left. No way. Yo, sick of this coming through the sub. I see you, homie. Good air to air. M able to stop zero there. No way. All right, that's over. That's over. <gasps> oh, you didn't got enough time. It's over. Player one wins. Julie was doing strong there for a while, man. Just couldn't close out against any character. I think that's different if you get rid of Hagar there. Opted for the snap, going after Magneto. Able to get the hit, looking good here. Just has to get the kill. Yeah, shout out to Joe Crush, the Tekken player, for qualifying for Tekken World Tour in the LCQ today. That just happened. Sorry if I spoiled that for anybody. Is that hit meaty? Okay, no, he's out of there. Stalking player is going to come out here for Jason Kiddo. Get the chase down. Off the teleport, good blocks there. Okay, yeah, right off the jam session and the S here from Yuli. Is that a punish? Oh, that's so devastating right there. Oh no, speaking of devastating. Yeah, that's a rough one, especially going to lose Virgil. Haven't even popped your X Factor yet. <laughs> Never try to punish. It's like you think you have enough time, but you really don't. Just run. 
All right, but this is the Yuli special here. Zero with X Factor three. I'm a look. I'm a believer. This that is, is the Yuli special. This is when I turn into a Yuli fan right here. This stuff gets wild. It's lightning back on the backside. Okay, so can move again. Trying to keep the pressure on Magneto. TK medium lightning so fast. Stocking flare. Okay, that's gonna hit. No, it does not. Oh, and another stocking flare. He's trying to burn through it. But he's gonna end up getting chipped out here. I like this, bro. Two stocking flares. There's so many. There's oh nothing we can God. do. <laughs> <laughs> Damn.